Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Okay, Bucks and the Cavs. I saw everyone talking in the Discord, what's going on with the Cavs? So of course, you know, they had a late scratch as well. I lost a premium actually uh, with the Cavs. You know, I was on it early. I Anybody can look. I've got a loss right there in the, uh, you know, you look at, you can check all our records. They're fully documented. I got the Cavs at minus eight. Uh, I was in on them early and uh, that was, you know, I felt like it was going to be you know, a rest day for those guys. And again, we, you know, I, I, I usually know when, when that's happening and, uh, you know, didn't work out. I took both. I was on good numbers on both those injury games, Mindy, including uh, laying the best price with the, um, uh, what was that other, there was another game where the uh, uh, spread had moved uh, the Pacers, right. Without Jokic. I took the yeah. Pacers and then, you know, uh, that went again. You know, the line went in my favor, and it didn't work out. So, how will it work out today, though, for the Bucks uh, going in and taking the, on the Cavs again? Well, um, I think I like the Bucks here. I'm going to take the plus points here. They've won two straight now, putting up quite a few points. 131 over those last two games. You know, Cavs lost two in a row now. Like we said, uh, only putting up 114 a game. Uh, Bucks 3-0 no against the spread in their last four, playing on three days rest here as well. So I'm going to take the Bucks. Okay, Mindy's going to be on the Bucks. Could it be the Cavs? In a, we're in a look-ahead spot to this game <laughs> because, you know, it is a pretty uh, significant game between these two teams. And I don't know, it's kind of funny. The Warriors, maybe, you know, I know they're improved, you know, improved, but again, they had, you know, the world out, right? And all those players came through again in that situation. So, uh, anyways, I'll probably go uh, under in this one, Mindy. You see where the total is right now at 221. It's 221 now. Oh, boy. I'll just leave 220 up there to kind of uh, give myself a tough game because, I mean, I have this one in the low. Uh, I have this one closer to, uh, uh, the high two teens, if you will, if I can call it that. So I like the under here in this one. You got Milwaukee, don't forget. They are six and sixteen to the under on the road this season. And yeah, Cleveland, they kind of flatline a little bit when it comes to the total, but we know that uh, you know, they're kind of a defensive oriented team, especially now that everybody's back in uh, in there with the uh, Allen and Mobley. So uh, I know they went over in their last two, including that uh, uh, game last night, went for 234, but I think this is a little different situation. Milwaukee plays so solid uh, to the under. I'm going to go under in this one at 221. Joe says, uh, don't forget about the Bucks and their key injury situation uh, coming into this one. Uh, Middleton's still out, but uh, Giannis questionable. Uh, I think if you look at the spread, however, um, I think that in I think it indicates that he might be in uh, Mitchell. The fact that he was uh, out of yesterday's game, questionable today. I think you might be in as well. We'll see. I mean, this is a tough one for you and I to, you know, maybe comment on Mindy because of those two key injuries. But we're here. We got to make a pick. Right. So Ron says he built. Uh, feels like uh, Giannis will play. Neil says it's built into the line. And uh, if it is, right, I would think that both, if you're looking at that line, to me, both, it, it's kind of weird, right? Either both are in or both are out, <laughs> maybe with that line <laughs> the way it is. But um, Verley likes the under here as well. Ron says give him the bucks. And we've got... NBA referee Scott Foster joining us. All right. Hooray. <laughs> Scotty Foster, hey, good to have you here. Uh, I thought it was Scott Frost when I first saw it come across. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I see there's one new, uh, I don't want to say new Twitter 
you know, they're handicappers are a dime a dozen, but you know, there's like uh, some famous ones out there. Oh, you know, you're, you know, you're the two old ladies who bet and stuff, but I mean, you've, you've seen the, uh, you know, there's old man who bets and uh, some of the famous uh, Twitter cappers, but there's kind of a new guy out there, a uh, ref who bets. I thought that was pretty good. That is um, a good name, right? Name, yeah. <laughs> Neil says the odds makers are the best cappers. Hey, no doubt about, I mean, I know they got all the info. Right. We always say, oh, I agree with that, Neil. But you know what? The most uh, overrated thing said in gambling, Mindy, is when they say, oh, how did Vegas know when it comes right on the spread? But really, don't we mean how did the public know, right? Because uh, they're just trying to gauge the 50-50 action and try to get it right in the, you know, get it right. So <laughs> I always think when it lands near the spread, the public knew uh, what the line should be. So... So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the toniespicks.com website right now and check out our all cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks and be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.